Hi guys, uh, welcome to another market breakdown. And then if you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell. So on today's market breakdown, we've got the DXY, USD, AUD, USD, Gold, and Euro CHF. So let's start on the DXY on the weekly chart. And then we can plot out like the overall uh, high value areas. And then we have like all the high value areas plotted out and then we have the overall ascending channel at the top of the structure and then if you have been watching like uh, all the videos that i've been posting you'll see that uh we have been looking for uh, some drops on the dxy so this is the mass psychology area that we are working with currently on the weekly chart and then let me drop to a daily time frame so on the daily chart we have a ascending channel at the top of the structure like this uh, it's not perfect but we can just use like all the things that we have on this one and then we have the 90 percent rule so we look for uh, continuations to the downside on the dxy so let's switch to the four hour and then on the four hour uh, it looks like a expanding pattern around here let me just do this and then i can just pattern separate everything around like this area pattern separate everything and then we have uh, loads of touches let me just put this tool around here so that i can access it, get it like uh, quickly so we have like uh, an impulse to the downside around this area here an impulse corrective move reaching like the first second and third touch area and then we have a push down and then another corrective move a push down corrective move and then another push down so we are still expecting the market to uh, push to the downside the same way that it has been pushing so let's switch to the hour chart and then on the hour chart i'm just going to pattern separate everything so that we can get like a clear picture of what's going on and then this is a high value area around here as a retest and then we can look for selling opportunities from here maybe we can get like a larger flag uh, in the form of a retest around this area here since it's a sensitive, a sensitive area and then we can look for continuations around this area in a form of an ascending channel and then we get like the continuations to the downside and then let's look at USD are and let me clear off the charts and then on the weekly chart we refresh and then after refreshing the charts then you start by looking at the overall structures and the overall higher highs and lows and then we have this mass psychology area this one here that we have been focusing on quite a while and then we have the highest high where the market can uh, get to like maybe correct up until this area and then we look for sales from there so we are currently focusing on this one since the market is currently at that area and then we have the low and then we can draw out like the overall ascending channel but i'm going to just draw this one around here like this and then focus on the current market structure which is this one the 90 percent rule and then i can try and draw out like this structure but it's not useful at the moment but i'll just draw it out then yeah this is what we currently have on the weekly and then moving to the daily we can just do this and then this is a pattern separation or an extension of a pattern and then we have this yeah and then moving to the four hour you check for momentum and all of that stuff so let me just uh, put like my analysis nicely like this and let me draw like the pattern within a pattern at the top because it seems like we have like a pattern within a pattern around here and then we have like a double top a triple top at the top of the structure and then we had like some type of a corrective move 
around this area here it should have been like an entry in this area here and then on the hour chart let's look at the hour so on the hour chart we are expecting uh, a tight flag entry around this area since we broke like the overall structure we can get uh, some type of an entry around this area here and it already has formed up we have like two bottoms and two tops and then you can place like your cell stop loss just above and then you're targeting the overall first target would be here and then the overall target would be at the overall 90% rule of which is here and then if you don't get like this entry you can uh, wait for another entry of which it's let me just cater for the high value areas first so we are currently at a high value area here so you can just wait for a clear break of structure around here come back and retest and then you take the cell around here with a candlestick formation confirmation and then you look for yourselves up until the first take profit and the second take profit for about 15 percent so looking at aud usd so let me just refresh the weekly chart so on the weekly we have this high value area and then we have another high value area at the top of the structure and then let's switch to a lower time frame the daily then on the daily as you can see here we had like uh, some mass psychology area of which is around here people were caught in the wrong side obviously let me just do this then we have a descending channel around here of which we are waiting for the descending channel to get broken so that we can get like more continuations to the upside just because we are currently at a high value area around yeah so we just have to wait for the market to break this area come back and retest and then get continuations up until the 90 percent rule or the overall high of which is at the top of the structure so let me just continue throwing out the overall structure and then on the four hour we have like a pattern within a pattern around this area here And then we had like uh, some high value areas of which is here, sensitive area. And then you can plot like a ray line just to show you that we are pushing to the upside. We are creating higher highs and higher lows. And then we are currently at this uh, high value area of which is here. And for some reason, I think the market can just come back, retest this area in a form of a higher low and then push back to the upside or gain more strength to break like the overall structure and then hit the 90 percent rule of which it's at the top and then we enter here oh, let me just change that and then when we enter trade around here and then we have stop loss just below and then we just have to be careful when the market reaches this area here just because it can just drop back to the downside before pushing back to the upside so we just have to be careful when the market reaches like this area here and then on the hour chart uh, let me check so on the hour chart yeah we obviously have like that uh area of which is here and then if we get like uh, some structural move up until this area we can look for selling opportunities if those uh, buys don't continue coming up and that's in this uh, pair so let's look at gold let me just remove everything so on the weekly refresh so on the weekly chart we have this mass psychology area of which it was uh, tested for quite a while this year this one here and this one here and then we finally get the break of that mass psychology area in a form of a descending channel so we are obviously looking for buying opportunities and then 
looking left you can see that we have an impulse and then this could be like the larger corrective move to continue to the upside so we have like uh too many confluences on this one and then let me just uh throw out the overall descending channel around here and then i think we had like a few touches around this area here at triple bottom around here and then we broke structure around here and then we have another high value area around here and then we have the overall 90 percent rule and then on the four hour chart we are looking at this high value area here to give us like some type of an entry uh, in the form of a break and a retest and then we push to the upside up until this 90 percent rule here so we can get like entries uh let me check on the hour chart sorry about those dogs guys they're making noise so we have like this high value area here as you can see it has been tested as a support and as a resistant also so it means that it can uh give us like a support and then we get like the push up up until that 90 percent rule area and then if we use like our management we can get like an entry here First take profit here, second take profit around here. Stop loss just below here. And then looking at the structure, we can put it just below uh, the slow here. And then looking at the last pair of foots, which is Euro Swiss. So let's look at the weekly. So on the weekly chart, we have this type of movement going on on the Euro. So, so let's switch to the daily just because I don't see anything uh, that I can work with on the weekly. And then on the daily, we have this nice impulsive move and then we have this corrective move up until a high value area of which it's creating a double top around there. So I think we can still look for selling opportunities on this one. And then you have your, your lower low around there to the daily to the four hour. We have an ascending channel like this. So let me just do this and then uh, pattern separate everything so that we can get like a clear picture of what's going on. So we have like this uh, ascending channel and then we have a pattern extension or a pattern on its own of which it's around here. And then we have like this high value area of which it has been tested as a support and they're resistant also. So this is the area. And then we can move to the four, to the hour chart. And then on the hour chart, we have a high value area of which is this one here. So I'm expecting the market to come and tap that high value area before pushing to the downside. So it can come back and tap this area and then we can push to the downside. And then tapping that area, we have like a lower high and then we expect lower lows from there we expect that lower high to break like that lower low this lower low around here and then we push to the downside from there so the entry should be around here stop loss just above target around here for about eight percent depending on how the market will reach like this value area and then we can uh, see that by uh, putting a stop loss very nicely and yeah i think we are done oh uh, we are done with this market breakdown and i'll see you on another video